Hi, I'm Chris Group, and I'm with Aesthetic Advisor, and today this is going to be a little video tutorial on how to um, clean the needle in your air stylus and also how to adjust the needle in your air stylus so you get the proper ratio of both product and air. Um, so before we get started, why don't you go grab an air stylus that you have in your room um, and grab some alcohol. Uh, regular alcohol is fine. We're not going to use any saline in this because saline has salt in it and salt can rust things. Um, and then a couple of um, alcohol pads is what we're going to do. Um, the reason for this tutorial, this information is in the full version of how to clean your air stylus. But I've had a few of you ask me, um, you know, tell me that, hey, I don't have enough product coming out or hey, I have too much product coming out. And it's all a matter of a simple adjustment. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your air stylus on. And I'm going to remove the top. And I've got a little bit of alcohol in here right now. So when you're using this and it's the needle is in the proper position, it should look like this. When you pull back on the trigger, you should have product. And then when you push forward, you should just have air. Okay, so product, air. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the back of it. And then in here you have a needle and then a little screw that holds the needle in place. And I'm going to grab my glasses real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take this little bead off and I'm going to take the needle out. Make sure you don't poke yourself, okay? So I'm going to set this back down and this needle, if you run your fingers along the edges of it, what you're going to notice is if you feel anything um, like bumps or things like that, you're going to want to clean this. I usually clean mine um, if I'm doing like four or five patients in one day, which is really common uh, for my microneedling business. Um, I'm going to clean it off at the end of the day. Um, if I'm working on just a few patients that week, maybe I'm using more, more of my lasers that week, then I might clean it off once a week. But usually about four patients and you want to clean it off. If you're going to be using it maybe week to week, I would still clean it at least once a week. So we're going to take an alcohol pad and you're just going to run it along the sides of this. Again, make sure you don't poke yourself because it kind of hurts. All right. So once we make sure that there's nothing on the needle, we're going to take it and we're going to put it back in side of the air stylus. So you just feed it back down. And then I'm going to take this little bead and I'm going to put it right over the top, but I'm not going to screw it down yet because I'm going to have to adjust this needle because if the needle is pushed too far forward, so it's all the way down in the pen, when you go to pull back, you notice how you don't see anything, okay? It's because the needle's too far in. If the needle's too far back, what you're going to see is product, and then when you go for just air, you still have product, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this needle. And you may have to do this, well, every time I take the needle out, I do this, but if you're not taking the needle out of it, you're still going to have to learn how to adjust this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, a little bit there, so not quite far enough forward, so product, not area. Okay, so, oh, I guess I need some more alcohol in it. So let's put this in. And by the way, the only thing that should be going in your air stylus is your HACU serum. It was formulated specifically for the pressure of the air stylus, so don't put other things in because you'll probably clog it up. So let's go back again. Product, air, product, air. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tighten this screw back down. Okay, so now I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to pull back on the trigger. Product, air, product, air. Okay, so now it's in the proper position. I'm going to put the back back on. I'm going to screw this in. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Product, air, product, air. If it has a little bit of product coming out with the air, is, that's okay, but you want mostly air coming out and you want product coming out here. Before I work on a client, one of the things I like to do is I'll put my finger over the bottom of this and I'll bubble it up. If you don't see bubbles, and this is what the bubbles look like, okay? You don't see that it means you have a clog. You need to take the needle out. But before I work on every person, I make sure that it's bubbling up. Then I spray the rest of the alcohol out. Make sure that you have completely sprayed the alcohol out before you put the HACU serum because you don't want to put alcohol into the microchannels that you're creating. So I hope that this helps you be able to use your air stylus more successfully with your skin stylus microneedling treatments. My name is Chris Group. I'm with Aesthetic Advisor. Thanks for watching.